You're so damn cold. You got me thinking I don't know what to do. Cause you got me so, so cold, babe. You got me thinking, baby, now that we're through. When we first started our online casting call, we actually did it on MySpace. And um, we was actually trying to find ways to get the vision of our agency out there. So this was like during 2006, uh, going into 2007, but it wasn't until the summer of 2007 that we actually started to do an online casting call. During that time, we was actually browsing people's pages and trying to get people to actually join our vision via MySpace. And we ran across a brother by the name of Evan Hernandez, who many people know as Daddy. Um, he's known as Daddy Hex now. And what drew me to him was uh, the variety of photos that he already had on his MySpace page. And I was very impressed at uh, his style. I was also very impressed at his physique and his look. Uh, I felt that he had great potential. Uh, needless to say that I found out that he also had other talents in other areas that I was kind of interested in finding out more about. Uh, come to find out he's a poet, he's also a, um, a lyricist, a singer, songwriter, possible hip-hop artist, uh, as you may. And uh, I was looking to actually do great things and still am. However, as you know, uh, it's actually up to the talent to actually decide which avenue they want to go in and it's actually up to the talent to start realizing their true potential and uh, so we're actually you know looking to see if he can actually you know come um, start growing more in his abilities uh, we see the potential and so um, I'm just very excited that he was able to be a part he was one of the first group of people to sign up with the agency and um, I'm very pleased that he allowed us to actually use his photos to help push the agency because that's, you know, that's how he ended up becoming our first male talent of the month for October 2007. We did our first Halloween campaign with him. And so uh, we're actually looking forward to seeing what more we can do with him and everything like that. We're just looking to see if he can um, give us a little more and not just with the photos but also with his other talented ability so we're looking forward to see what can come about um, any projects that feature him in the future
Tyena Norel Santi. Wow. <laughs> um, she's not called the Cuban Barbie for nothing. I mean, this girl looks flawless. She gives you face. She gives you body. I mean, um, she is awesome. And when I first uh, met her online, she actually was, I think, 19 at the time. Because um, she is actually the first uh, person to ever register for the agency, if I'm not mistaken. I think there was about two or three inquiries. But she was the first one to actually register online and actually send in an application. And she was the first one that I actually took to and everything like that. Um, she is excellent. She's flawless. Um, she, she has wonderful possibilities. Uh, uh, potential wonderful possibilities for her in the future uh, not just as a transgender model but also as a potential uh, as a performer uh, as an actress and everything like that I'm looking forward to working more with her in the near future um, and she's of course you know located out of Florida and everything and I think she's doing uh, some things down there right now I think she's one of um, uh, a host at uh, one of the shows at a popular uh, nightclub down there in Florida so um, she's awesome I mean, I have nothing uh, bad to say about her. I mean, the girl is awesome. Um, I think she has a wonderful attitude, too, because you don't find that too much uh, when you're dealing with people who are not just lip sync artists, but those uh, in the entertainment industry and those who perhaps, you know, may be LGBT. You find a very few of those who are very down to earth and who are, you know, uh, genuine. And so I feel that with Taina. And everything like that. Uh, we don't always communicate like I want to, because keep in mind I'm CEO of a company. I can't always, you know, get with everybody like I would, you know, want to. However, she is definitely, you know, uh, a gem in my book, and I'm proud to, uh, you know, have her on board. Um, she's rightfully the first lady of Meat Productions Inc. because she was the first to sign up, the first transgender to actually sign up, and um, therefore, you know, she became my first transgender talent of the month for December 2007 and I'm glad to have her a part and I'm glad that she's part of the vision.